The only thing I really knew about lung cancer before my diagnosis was that it was one of the worst cancers to get as far as the statistics for five-year survival. I figured that this, this was it. My chances of surviving it were so slim. When I was told that I had a mutation and I, I wondered what this meant, you know, is, is this something that is negative? My oncologist explained that, no, this is actually a very positive thing because finally this gives us a direction to move in that would allow us to use a, a therapy that is actually targeted. ALK is short for anaplastic lymphoma kinase. It's a protein that's been found to be abnormal in several types of cancers, including lymphomas. That was where it was originally discovered. And then more recently, really it was only in 2007, it was discovered to be abnormal in lung cancers. And it's really thought that the abnormal version of ALK is the thing that drives cancer development in these uh, very specific types of cancer. So if the molecular testing lab sees the separation of these two spots in a cancer cell, that makes us think that this is a patient who would be appropriate for enrollment on the trial of crizotinib and that this is a patient that might have a good chance of benefit from the drug. Within days of starting the clinical trial, I began to feel better. My, my cough began to ease up. I felt like I was getting air into my lungs. I felt so much better. <laughs> Well, you know, again, in a phase one trial, uh, particularly with a new drug against a target that you've never had the opportunity to work with before, uh, I think all of us were really just amazed. And in, in particular for this group of patients, we know because we've, we've carried out a very large study here looking at all, all of the patients at MGH who carry ALK as well as other mutations such as EGFR. We know that patients who have ALK are very similar to patients who have EGFR in that they tend to be never smokers. So smoking is not believed to be really a causal role in this subset of patients. We were able to expand the trial to multiple sites. Uh, Pfizer uh, is the sponsor of the trial and they included sites from around the world, all of whom were very engaged in trying to identify patients who had tumors, particularly non-small cell lung cancer tumors, with the ALK rearrangement. And many of these patients actually exceeded the response that we saw in our first few patients. Um, and some patients have been on the drug for longer than two years, which is really quite remarkable when you consider that the vast majority of these patients have already failed multiple lines of chemotherapy, and they really didn't have any great options available to them at the time that they started the trial. To see the before and after was just, it was unbelievable because my, my lungs were really clouded with cancer prior to starting the trial. And he, he even said to me, this is why you had trouble breathing. You know, look, look at this scan. And the scan that I was looking at that they had just taken a few days before, my lungs looked almost absolutely clear. It was unbelievable. I hope that this works for a long time. I'm, I'm very happy with each day that I am given.